Okay, on to the next track in Sammy's Kicks and Flats Addict Series, man. Uh, we just came off a really beautiful song by Tori Amos. If you haven't watched that, I uh, again urge you to just go back one. If you don't want to go to the big beginning of the series, which I implore you to do anyway, go back to the beginning of the series. But if not, go back one and just watch the Tori Amos uh, um, video. That was uh, quite a beautiful video. Um, this one over here is Matis Yahoo. We have reacted to only one track by Matis Yahoo. I can't even remember the name. And it was also given to me by Sammy. This one is another one, Youth. I remember that I did like Matis Yahoo. I loved that last one. He's got a bit of a reggae feel to him. Um, but yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's see what we've got over here. Uh, for those of you who are interested in the custom series product, link is down in the pinned comment as you uh, guys already know, I'm sure. Let's uh, rock and roll. Matis Yahoo Youth. Let's go. So you're supposed to be talking about a lost youth over here. I mean, if they were lost when you made this video, um, yeah, they're probably, probably 25 times more lost today than they were when they were lost when you made this video. I'm almost 100% sure of that. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's why politicians and, and the, the, the actual um, system at large is uh, waging a war on them. They would like them to be more lost. Do you know what I mean? Because, because the youth are the future is why these people... Um, uh, can't help, can't help but try and use them to destroy themselves because these geriatrics want to take this world into the grave with them. Anyway, carry on. I feel like that blow you. Young man, control in your hands. Slam your fist on the table and make no demand. Take a stand, fan the fire for the flame of the youth. Got the freedom to choose. You better make the right move. I completely agree with this. 100% agree with this. Put your fists on the table and take a stand for the youth. But they're taking a stand for the wrong things. Do you know what I mean? Before, the youth used to take a stand that was always anti-establishment. Now the youth are taking a stand that is all pro-establishment. And when has the fucking government ever been the arbiters of truth? When has the government ever led you the right fucking way? Right? That is not... It, it, that is not something that actually benefits them at the end of the day. It's crazy. We used to see the youth go very anti-establishment, very anti uh, the actual system. Now we see the youth saying, oh, yeah, 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 well, yeah, what they're right, what they're saying is right. No, uh, yes, yeah, what Joe Biden is saying is correct. What uh, 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 um, AOC is saying is correct. Uh, what, uh, I mean, uh, hey, what happened to the go against the system, Bob, right? Everything that these uh, uh, these the politicians are pushing out, the youth are like, yeah, we stand with you. Really? The people that don't give a fuck about you? They've really managed to flip the script. I must be honest, it's very clever politics. Very, very smart politics on, on the side of the politician side, right? To actually turn what should have been a rebellious youth against the actual system to be the very pawns that they use. Uh, uh, um, to take full totalitarian control. That's it's, it's fucking crazy. Smart politics, though. Let's go. Yes, I agree, young man. The power's in your hand. Let's throw the fists on the table. That's why the politicians want to make you docile. <laughs> that's why that's why they don't want you to be stoic and physically strong they want you to be stupid they want you to be dumb they want you to sit at home on netflix on welfare right because you are useless if you are um not consistently building yourself and building your character and building your physicality and building your mindset and being more open-minded do you know what i mean and looking at the world differently 
No, they don't want you to be stoic. They want you to be docile, right? That's why. That's why. Because a stoic, docile, arti- uh, sorry, a stoic, articulate, coherent, uh, uh, motivated, um, strong um, man um, is the kind of man that they're afraid of. It's the kind of man that you get enough of those and they fight a regime. Do you know what I mean? They'll be able to fight a regime. So if we weaken those, we can take full control. So yeah, I mean, just looking in between the lines over here, but yes, 100% agree with everything you say, 100%. You gotta make the right move. Spiritual emptiness. Spiritual emptiness. How many of the youth today have got absolute spiritual emptiness where they actually feel like their entire lives is vacuous? You know what I mean? It's vapid. It's got absolutely no meaning or purpose. And they feel that it's okay that way. It's they, they take them out of spirituality. They take them out of a system of faith and belief. And they let them float into the abyss and say, yeah, you can be whatever you want. Your temptations should always rise above your soul. It should always rise above your morality. There shouldn't be any restraint. Chasing temptations and chasing decadences and going um, in the veins of hedonism is now seen as the moral, virtuous, cultural thing to do. That is the culture. It's widespread. It's permeating throughout society. And they want it's to permeate throughout society, right? They want to psychologically trash the youth, right? Take away the Bibles, take away the... And I'm, a, I'm not advocating for religion or anything like that. The best religion in the world is whatever you believe in. If it offers you hope, perfectly fine. But you need to have some level of faith. There needs to be, there needs to be something, there needs to be a higher order that's greater than you that you serve so that you're not stuck in the echo chamber of your narcissistic self thinking that you are the pinnacle point of everybody else's universe. That is the problem with our youth today. It's kids with absolutely no structure, no guardrails, no morality, no virtues that are playing the virtue signaling game that are standing on the soapbox because they are given slogans that they don't understand to push out into the broader society. That's the problem with the youth today. And that's the problem with the system today. You can get back to black and get back to a music and record break all the nature. Young man, control in your hands, slam your fist on the table and make your demand. Take a stand, fan the fire for the flame of the youth. Got the freedom to choose, you better make the right move. Young man, the power's in your hands, slam your fist on the table and make your demand. You better make the right move. crazy to actually think and i know i'm going on a bit of a rant here but this song is bringing out a couple of things for me right it's crazy to think that the youth of old right the youth we used to have when the politicians used to come and say this war is important they used to be like fuck you this war is not important it's bullshit it's all for your own gain right so we used to have the peace protesters we used to have the people that would assemble in the streets and say you know the systematic uh, um, regime of you know this this industrial complex is just they're just all about war and they would advocate for peace they would push peace right and the same ones that told you that the climate wasn't important before because, you know, this is just, this is a free market system and it's a capitalistic system and we need oil and we to keep the lights on and blah, 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 blah. When all of that was going on, the same youth were saying, fuck you, right? This is all for capitalistic gains and this is all for uh, you to make money 
um, and stuff like that. And they were always very opposed to the government consistently. They were opposed to their, their anti-climate story and they were opposed to their war story. And they were always opposed to it. Then the government flipped it. Then the government said, no, this war is important. And if you're not for this war, you're the not virtuous ones. You're happy to see uh, people die. And people are like, oh, no, yeah, no, no, we for war. No, no, let's, let's, let's escalate, 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 right? They flipped the script on that. And somehow now we've got the war activists. We've got the war uh, um, um, protesters. More war, more money, more everything, right? Same thing with the climate change. Saying, oh, you know what? Actually, we've raped the earth for everything we've needed to rape the earth, right? We've commoditized oil enough, right? Now that we're in the news phase of technology, let's flip the script and give them and feed them back what they uh, um, always exalted. So we'll give them back the climate change story and we'll say, oh, no, no, now for the climate, we want to protect the climate. We're on your page now, but it just so happens, right, that all of those same people are shareholders of renewable renewable energy, renewable energy companies. It just so happens, right, that they are making billions off that. And they got your buy-in. They've got your buy-in. They've got your buy-in for the lithium batteries that are completely decimating African countries and creating a whole trade of child slavery in Africa so that you can feel good when you drive a Tesla in the middle of LA. It's staggering how they flip the script. But because we're in a society that is... Um, idiotic uh, to a certain degree. No one really dives deep or digs deeper anymore, right? They just get what they well, they just get what is fed to them in shorts, and it's like, yeah, we're the cool people. We are the great people. You don't dig deeper. You don't care to see what's actually happening on the other side of the world. You don't care to see what the system's actually doing um, in this climate change story. You don't care. You know, they will tell you that you shouldn't drive a. a um, um, uh, a gas uh, a powered car while they're driving their Learjets from Wall Street back and forth every single day, right? They don't care enough about the climate to change their actions on the climate. They only care enough about the climate for you to change yours because they need their private jets. They need their yachts. They need the private jets and they need the yachts and they need their gas guzzling, uh, uh, gas guzzling, uh, um, um, massive convoys of security gas guzzling cars because we need it because we need those to in service to you we need to have gas guzzling cars in service to you we need our yachts in service to you we need our uh, um, private jets right it's crazy specifically for a youth that is so climate uh, uh, um, um, crazy that they don't realize that the very things that they use every single day are the biggest contributors to the actual climate daily, right? You care about the climate? Get off Twitter. Get off Instagram. Stop stop uh, uh, um, doing crypto trades, right? Because those warehouses are the, the those warehouses use absolutely the most amount of energy, which contributes an enormous, if not the most, uh, uh, um. Um, carbon dioxide to the to the planet because of how vast those warehouses are and how much energy they use right stop using social media then you are actively actively engaging in something that is further damaging your planet but you won't right because the likes are important and your posts are important and your crypto trades are important do you know what I mean so it's all just a facade it's all just a bullshit little a mask that everyone's dragging around. Yes, I care for the planet. And yes, I care. I think there's no downside to keeping a, a cleaner planet, right? But I will care for the rhetoric, right? The very moment that the people who are purporting it, the very moment that the people who are pushing the rhetoric stop flying their fucking private jets from Wall Street to Dubai to extract their money out of the country, then I'll care. Anyway, carry on.
Yeah, obviously love the premise of the song. Yes, I completely and utterly agree with that, but um, not so sure how much more power the young man had has in his hands today. I'm not sure the young man is even willing to fight or use that power even if he does have it. I think we've gotten to a point in this world where it's just too much effort. It's just too much effort. It's too much effort. I don't have the motivation. I don't have the motivation to fight. I'd rather be at home, play Call of Duty, watch Netflix and get the little crumbs that uh, the pseudo totalitarian soon to be complete totalitarians are gonna throw at my at my feet anyway love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you in the next one